Hey guys, in today's video, as promised to you guys, I wanted to share some additional new features and changes in iOS 12 Beta 2. I also wanted to share my battery performance experience within the last 24 hours of using it on my iPhone 10, as well as the performance in comparison to Beta 1. So let's begin. Now first I want to go ahead and talk about some additional new features and changes within iOS 12 Beta 2, starting with the App Store here. If you go to your account, there's a really cool option here for personalizing. And uh, this is a very important section here because it gives you a very detailed explanation on what you purchased, your purchase histories, your subscriptions to services like Apple Music and things like that, your pre-orders, your ratings and reviews. Very awesome option here within the App Store settings. And again, you can access this by going into the App Store and tapping on your account right there and personalize options. Now with notifications on lock screen and animations, Apple has been making changes here with Beta 2. Take a look at the animations here when you 3D touch, slightly different, smoother. The X is smaller as well to dismiss the notifications. So we have smoother animations and also different size elements here let's take a look at beta 1 here for this notification here and you see that the X is not as large as it looks in beta 2 so right there see how large it is in beta 2 compared to beta 1 there's also been a few changes made within the music player here you see that when you're connected to Bluetooth the airplay icon now turns blue to indicate that you're connected to a Bluetooth device and if we go to the music application some additional changes have been made here as well we can now 3d touch on the media player down here here where your uh, play and pause buttons are at we couldn't do that before so a few changes there to the music and the Bluetooth and airplay icons here within the music platter taking a look at spotlight search right here where the series suggestions are we now have arrows next to uh, links that we can go ahead and click to and go see view recent photos and things like that and if we click on a media player we now have a new icon there so if I was playing music you see the music player right next to the extension for the music application there's been some changes under the batteries tab here where you can monitor your usage you see right here all the metrics they look different a different ui if we go to the battery here for beta one take a look they're completely different so i hope they keep the beta 2 style because i like it a lot more and it's just a little more precise easier to read so new changes there under the batteries tab now this next one is going to be a little hard to see but take a look at the location services indicator slightly tweaked in beta 2 on the left it's a little rounder so now i want to talk about battery and performance with beta 1 battery has been phenomenal beta 2 for the last 24 hours that i've had it continues to be improving upon that so battery is excellent for those of you who are looking to try the beta if you want to do so there's no problems in regards to battery if that's something you worried about i also want to take a look at performance i did run a test beta 1 42 32 single core score beta 2 42 67 about 30 points higher on the single core score but if we take a look at the multi-core score, we're about 100 points lower in beta 2. But the performance is there. The smoothness is there. iOS 12 looks to be a phenomenal release if Apple continues on this trend with the battery and the performance. Of course, I'll have a follow-up video for you guys next week to give you some additional feedback on the software. And if there's anything else that I discover from now to then, I'll bring that to you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.